Hi guys, welcome to my channel Tech Binary Sphere. So today's agenda of this tutorial is we will learn how to use serial wire debugger to print our string on our serial monitor of the STM32 cube IDE with using STM32 board. The version is F103. C8. So we will run the code here and we will get the output here, the print value or say print serial on serial monitor. So it will be look like this. When we run our program, we will get our result like this print f hello world so how to get this value we will learn in th in this tutorial so let's get started firstly you open your stm32 cube ide then go to file new stm32 project now it will take a few seconds or a minute to open the next page. And then here commercial part number that we have to write STM 32. C8. You can choose C8 T6 or C8 T6 TR. I am choosing this TR1. Now select here and then click on the next button and give the name of your project name. I am giving hello world. Hello world. I am giving 5. It may be a possibility of I have done many of the time. Now click on the finish button. Now wait for a second. Now the here IOC is loading. It will take few minutes or second. Okay, now. now our IOC page is like this. So, this is our microprocessor which is STM32 F103 C8 T6 or X version. So, it is having these number of pins. So, at this project, we are not using any sensor, so we don't have to select any pin like this it is saying uh, gpio input output or analog or something else but we need to do a single setting uh, go to here system core click on system core and then click on sys and then here the option is debug select serial wire and then save this project when you click on save this project it will show you like this do you want to generate code then click on yes and the next option is this then click yes just wait for a while Let me delete my previous one quotes. Okay, now this is my current page. 
So we have to make some settings and we have to add some codes here. I will upload the code file of my GitLab link in the description. You can directly download the code from there or if you follow these instructions, you can simply do some single changes or maybe around 5 to 10 lines of code you have to edit. So in the main code, we have to do some changes. Mm. So from here, like uh, from user code, the line number is 20. Uh, delete all the line and add this one. Now paste here. So this is our changes in main C. Now let's go to the sys folder. You will find in the core and then source. There is a page sys code. Click on it and this will appear like this. So you have to add something and you have to delete a line from this. Just watch carefully how we are doing this. If you missed a line, then it will not work. It will show you error. So here we need to add few lines of quotes. As I have already written the quotes, I will just copy and paste yeah, from here. debug to here Let's see and i will paste these lines of code here okay now it is added here i will remove this space now there is also a line that we need to delete this one so if you find this line pointer one uh, wait let me check one more time is this same or I'm missing something oh sorry yeah this one on my line that is page one zero sorry line number 106 that is this input output underscore put care and pointer so we need to change this line just comment this line one and then add this add this thing The addition and deletion part in the code is done. Now click on save button and one more time click on save button. So I will show you by running this code what error it is showing. So we have to remove that error firstly then it will work. So let's see what it will show. I am clicking on build. It will take a few seconds. So basically the thing is it is not showing an error to me because I have already done a setting and it will show you an error. So how to remove that error? Uh, this is our folder project. Right click, go to property. And after property, uh, there will be an option C slash C plus plus build. 
open this folder by clicking on this arrow there will be an option setting click on setting then go to right side there will be an option like mcu settings click on mcu setting now there will be some options floating point unit you have to make it none and floating point abi you have to select software implementation after that if there is option like this you can click on here then click on apply and close okay now you can build one more time then it will not show any error to you so okay let's run this code before running this code i will show you one more thing let's debug this project click on debug let me tell you one more thing uh, right click here on your project folder go to debug as select this option or this option i will select this now